Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. So today we are doing another fun project and for this project we need Pringle scan and this is empty by the way. So what I'm doing here is I am dividing it into a two part and this can will act as a mold. And what I'm doing here is this is jasmineite pigment and I have mixed jasmineite according to my need. You will have to see what amount of jasmineite you want. So what I'm doing here is I am filling up these cans with these cans that I divided into two from the pink Pringle can and I am adding jasmineite mixture into them and I need to I'm doing it in layers. Now what I'm doing here is I have some bubble wrap that I have just wrapped in a parcel and what I did here is when my jasmineite was still wet the first layer I just put them in a corner so that they will get cured with the bottom layer I think you understand what I'm saying here so now I'm adding another chestnut mixture on top of that and just filling it up So we let it cure. After when it's cure, I added these wicks into the cured jasmineite and now I'm adding this candle wax. You can use any candle wax you like. I melted and now I'm adding it to the jasmineite that has been cured, dried up. So now I'm adding this wax, candle wax into the molds. And we let this wax to dry up before doing so I will be adding positioning them into the center of my wicks so this is the second day it's all been dried up let's demold first out of the container and now the on to the second one so now the fun part uh, I will have to remove the bubble wrap it act as a pocket So it took me some time but all well and it was removed. So here we have the pocket here. And on to the second one. Doing the same, removing the air bubble wrap. So it's all been cleared up what I'm doing here is this is how the shapes look like if been empty here I have mixed some resin and now comes the fun part this is what I'm going to show you here is a white sand that I use for aquariums this is a fine grit So now I will be taking the sand the amount I want and I will be adding this resin to the sand and I will be adding some sparkly mica into the sand as well. The resin here will act as a pointer and it will help me to get the desired effect I want with my sand so 
So here I'm adding this German glass. It's really sparkly and at the moment I am adding a little less but in future there are many projects where I will be showing you how I will be mixing this all to get a sparkly effect that you get in the geodot. This time I don't want it to be extra sparkly so that's why. So what I'm doing here is I am filling up the pocket with the sand for the base. And again it really depends on the grit of the sand if your sand is in granules if it's on the thicker side you will get a bit of grainy effect and it looks beautiful as well so I will be working with the different grit of sands in the future but for this one I needed this one as you can see I am just filling up the pocket and adding this layer and this white sand is acting as a primer for me so later on when I will be adding the crystals, the glass into the mold pocket, it will be showing more. I hope you understand my point here. So I let it cure. This is the second day my sand has been cured and this is the glass I will be using. I wanted to use this crystal as I showed you but they were a bit more on the dull side so I didn't use them but however I used some pirates and you know as pirate is my favorite so with the help of a glue gun I am sticking these glass pieces into the pocket of the candle to get the geode effect so this was a really fun and interesting project and adding these glass pieces were very fun arranging them so you can arrange them as you like so as you can see me using this crystal and it's not going that well so i decided to remove it and i didn't use them So you can use a uh, clear quartz pieces as well. I didn't have them at the moment, so I didn't use them. So done with this one. Almost. And on to the second one, doing the same. Again, this is really up to you where you want to add your crystals. Just a decorative element to the candles. So when I'm happy with my glass, I am adding this liquid gold to the sides of the geode to give the, it a more crystal look. So this is really a fun project to give uh, as a gift, as um, birthday gifts, anything you can give the person according to their gemstone. You can add amethyst to it, rose quartz, quartz to it. You can change the color of the jasmineite and the candle, really up to you. So these are all done with the uh, just a liquid gold and now what I'm doing here is I have added the gilding glue
and after applying the gilding glue we let it dry so it gets sticky so after it's around next day and it's all sticky and now i'm using this gold foil onto the candle base to transfer this gold for a mirror mirror gold onto the desired effect so all in all this was really a fun project for me as i was using the gilding glue lots of gold as you know this is my favorite thing to add to anything so again you can see how it has been transferred onto this so you can add a lot of stuff to this sky is the limit and there are many elements you can add here you can add glitter you can add um, rhinestones a lot of ideas So when I'm done with the gold leaf, I am using this acrylic marker here and I will be making some geode lines. And I was a bit afraid of using this white Posca pen, but I did and it turned out great. On to the second one. So this is my crystal mold I made myself. What I did here is I pour some wax into this mold and we let it cure. So this is the next day and I'm demolding this crystal. As you can see, it has been taken me a few days to make this candle. You can make it as simple as uh, you can make it really simple as you can. But I went ahead with some more embellishment. So it has taken me some days. So what I will be doing here is I will be making a simple hole into this crystal cluster ma made out of wax.
and I will be adding it on to the top of this candle just to make it a bit different from rest of the candles giving that extra effect So do let me know in comments that if you like the idea of me adding this crystal cluster on the top of this candle. So I have already done it onto the second one and these candles are all done now. So as these are done now, this is how they turned out and please do let me know in comments that what do you think about these candles and any suggestions are always welcome i made similar candles before as well but they were a bit on the different side i will link that tutorial also in my description and above somewhere so thumbs up if you like the video also please do like subscribe and share and take care bye bye